my house. I live in a house. My house is small. My house has two bedrooms. My mom and dad sleep in one bedroom. My sister and I share the other bedroom. My house has a kitchen. My mom and dad cooked dinner there every night. My house has a living room. My family watches television there every night. My house has a big bathroom. My house has a lot of closets. My house has a basement. My dad has a workshop in the basement. My dad makes wood furniture. My house does not have a second floor. My house has a garage. My house has a big backyard. My backyard has a maple tree. My backyard has a swimming pool. My backyard has a vegetable garden. Family likes our house. My flower garden. My name is Anne. I love flowers. I have a flower. My garden is in front of my house. My neighbor has a garden too. My garden has different types of flowers. I have roses in my garden. I have tulips in my garden. I have petunias in my garden. My garden has different colors. I plant red flowers. I plant orange flowers. I plant blue flowers. I plant purple flowers. I take care of my garden. I water my garden every day. I kill the weeds in my garden. I kill insects that eat my flowers. I love my beautiful garden. Jessica's first day of school. Today is Jessica's first day of kindergarten. Jessica and her parents walked to school. Jessica's mom walks with her to her classroom. Jessica meets her teacher. Her teacher, his name is Mr. Parker. The school bell rings at 8.45 a.m. Jessica hugs and kisses her mom goodbye. Jessica's mom says, I love you. At 9 a.m., Jessica stands for the national anthem. Mr. Parker calls out children's names. Each child yells back, Here! Mr. Parker teaches them about letters. Mr. Parker teaches them about numbers. At 10.15 a.m., the students have recess. Recess is fun. The students get to play and eat. At 10.30 a.m., the students go to gym class. At 11.15 a.m., the students return to Mr. Parker's classroom. Mr. Parker tells the students to sit on the carpet. Mr. Parker reads the students a story. Mr. Parker teaches the students a song. The lunch bell rings. Jessica's first day of school is over. Going Camping The Bright family went camping on the weekend. The Bright family went to Silent Lake. The Bright family left on Friday. They camped for three days. The Bright family brought a big tent. They brought a lot of food. 
they brought insect repellent. The Bright family had a campfire on Friday. They roasted marshmallows. They sang campfire songs. On Saturday, they went canoeing. On Saturday, they went fishing. On Saturday, they went swimming. They went hiking on Sunday. The Bright family saw many birds. They saw blue jays. They saw hummingbirds. The Bright family saw many animals. They saw a raccoon. They saw a squirrel. But they didn't see a bear. The Bright family had a fun vacation. My first pet. My name is Sarah. I am 14 years old. I have a pet cat. My cat's name is Milo. My cat is black and white. Milo's paws are white. Milo's body is black. She is very cute. Milo's fur is very soft. Milo was a very small kitten. Milo is a very big cat. Milo cannot have kittens. She is fixed. Milo likes to eat. Milo likes to play outside. Milo likes to hunt for birds. Milo likes to hunt for mice. She likes her ears scratched. Milo likes to sit in my lap. Milo likes to sleep on my bed. Milo is a good pet. Jennifer the Firefighter Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. She is one of the first female firefighters. Jennifer works hard every day. Jennifer exercises every day. She lifts weights. She wants her muscles to be very strong. She saves people's lives every day. She is very strong. Jennifer is married. Her husband is a school teacher. Jennifer's husband is proud of her. Jennifer is a mother. She has two daughters. Her daughters are proud of her too. Jennifer is happy being a firefighter. Jennifer is happy being a wife. Jennifer is happy being a mother. Summer Vacation Today is the last day of school. It is summer vacation. Grace is very excited. This summer will be fun. Grace is going to visit her grandparents. They have a cottage. The cottage is on Lake Erie. It is a lot of fun. Grace is going to swim. She is going to play board games. She is going to talk with her grandparents. Grace is going to have fun. Grace is going to a summer camp. She will sleep in a cabin. She will make lots of new friends. Grace will learn campfire songs. Camp will be fun. Grace is going to Cape Cod with her parents. We are going for two weeks. We are going to drive. Grace will see the ocean. Cape Cod will be beautiful. Summer vacation is fun.
Mark's big game. Mark's favorite sport is hockey. He is 15 years old. Mark practices three times a week. Practices are two hours long. Mark plays one game a week. Mark is a good hockey player. He plays on Friday nights. Friday night hockey games are popular. Mark's family watches him play. Mark's friends watch him play too. There are always many fans. Tonight is the big game. Coaches are coming to watch Mark play. Mark wants to play in the National Hockey League. Mark wants to make a lot of money. It is very hard to play in the NHL. Mark's parents want him to go to college. They want him to have an education. They want Mark to be successful. They want Mark to be happy. The Easter Egg Hunt Samantha is going to an Easter egg hunt. Tracy is going to an Easter egg hunt. The Easter egg hunt is at Sydney's house. It is going to be fun. Sydney's mom hid chocolate eggs. Sydney's mom hid chocolate bunnies. Everybody is here. Everybody has an Easter basket. The Easter egg hunt can start. Everybody must close their eyes. One, two, three, go! Samantha finds an Easter egg. The Easter egg is behind the table. She puts it in her basket. Tracy finds a chocolate Easter bunny. It's under the couch. Tracy puts it in her basket. Sydney finds a chocolate Easter bunny too. It's in front of the television. She puts it in her basket. Everybody finds lots of chocolate. Everybody shares their chocolate. Samantha, Tracy, and Sydney love Easter. Joe's first car. Joe is 18 years old. Joe works at McDonald's. He saves all his money. Joe has $2,500 in the bank. He wants to buy a sports car. Joe starts to look for a new car. Joe looks in the newspaper. Joe looks in magazines. Joe finds a car he likes. Joe goes to see the car with his dad. He really likes it. Joe doesn't have enough money. Joe's dad tells him to keep saving his money. Joe wants this car a lot. Joe asks his dad to help him. Joe and his dad make a deal. Joe's dad will lend him the money. Joe must work hard. He must pay the money back to his dad. Joe is very happy. Joe owns his first car. A baby. My aunt just had a baby girl. We went to the hospital to visit my aunt and to see the new baby. My aunt was feeling fine, although she was just a bit tired. 
She walked with us to a big window that had lots of babies behind it. She pointed to a crib with a baby in it. The baby was wrapped in a pink blanket. We all said how pretty the baby looked. I couldn't believe how tiny the baby was. She was asleep, so we couldn't see her eyes. When the baby went home, we went to visit her. We heard the baby. She was crying. My aunt said the baby was hungry. My aunt had a baby bottle full of warm milk. She fed the baby with it. The baby was happy after that. My aunt patted the baby on the back. Until the baby burped, and then the baby fell asleep. I held the baby. I looked at her tiny fingers and tiny toes. I was very careful with her. She opened her eyes and looked at me. I spoke to the baby, but I knew that she could not understand me. Babies have to learn to walk and talk. My aunt changed the baby. Babies wear diapers, so they need to be changed often. The baby has a lot of toys, but she is still too young to play with them. My aunt says that it won't be long before the baby is crawling and trying to talk. Babies are cute. I have seen pictures of myself when I was a baby, and it's hard to believe that I was once that small. Wild animals. Some animals are wild. They don't live in homes or cages. They live in jungles or on plains. The lion is the king of the beasts. He is very mighty. He roars loudly. The giraffe has a long neck. He eats leaves from the tallest trees. The elephant is very large. He has a trunk and two tusks. A tiger has stripes. Some bears are black, and some are brown. There are even white bears called polar bears. A kangaroo lives in Australia. That is the only place that you would find a kangaroo, except in a zoo. It might be frightening to run into a wolf or a fox. Monkeys run and play in the trees. In Canada, we don't see lions, tigers, giraffes, or monkeys running wild. There are squirrels in my backyard. Sometimes I see a raccoon or a chipmunk. In northern Ontario, you might see a moose or a bear. I have seen a deer in the forest. There are many wild animals. You can see wild animals if you go to the zoo. Susan's wedding day. Susan is getting married. Her fiance's name is Michael. They are in love. They are getting married today. Susan wakes up early. She is getting her hair done. Susan is having her makeup done too. Susan looks beautiful. She puts on her white wedding dress. She puts on her veil. Susan needs something blue. Her garter is blue. Susan needs something old. 
Her grandmother's ring is old. Susan needs something borrowed. She is wearing her mother's jewelry. Susan needs something new. Her shoes and dress are new. Susan needs a penny for her shoe. It will bring her good luck. Susan is ready to get married. Vacation My family and I went on vacation to Lake Huron. The water is beautiful and blue there, and the sand is nice and white. The week that we were there was very hot. The sun was hot, but the water was still very cold. I went swimming and tried to catch little fish in my hands. I was careful not to get sunburned. We stayed at a hotel that had a pool and a game room. I played pinball and video games sometimes. I'd like to swim in the hotel pool, but I like the beach better. I would lie on a big beach towel and get warm. Then I would jump in the water and cool off. Sometimes I would just lie on the sand and watch the waves roll up on the shore. I found some seashells and saw a crab walking on the sand. At first I was a bit lonely because I didn't know anyone there. It wasn't long before I met some other kids my age. We built sandcastles together and swam in the lake. The other kids were from different towns, so we told each other stories about our schools and friends. We found that we had a lot in common, even though we were from different places. Our families got together and went to restaurants together. We played volleyball on the beach, and we sat around a campfire at night and sang songs. At the campfire, we would roast marshmallows on a stick. I always burn my marshmallows. That is okay. I like them that way. Mostly, we just swam in the lake until we were very tired. I was sorry when our vacation was over. I had a good time at Lake Huron. I met some very good friends there. We still write to each other. Maybe we'll see each other next summer. The Restaurant When you go to a restaurant, you might see a sign that says, Please wait to be seated. A host or hostess will ask you how many people are in your party. Then, they will want to know if you want to sit in the smoking or non-smoking section. The host or hostess will take you to your seat. You might sit at a table or at a booth. The host or hostess will give you a menu to look at. Sometimes, there are different menus for different meals. There can be a breakfast menu, a lunch menu, and a dinner menu. Sometimes there is also a wine list and a dessert menu. The food and the prices of the food are listed on the menu. On your table, there will be cutlery. Cutlery is the knives, forks, and spoons. There will also be a napkin. You are supposed to put your napkin on your lap when you eat. Your waiter or waitress will take your order. You might want an appetizer before your meal. Some people want a salad or soup before their meal. After your meal, 
you might have a dessert or tea or coffee. When it is time to go, you will pay your bill and leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. My house. I live in a two-story house. The bottom of the house is painted white. The upper part of the house is made of red brick. The chimney is also made of red brick. If you go through the front door and turn right, you'll see the living room. The living room is very large and comfortable. There are easy chairs, a coffee table, and a sofa in there. I like to sit in there and relax. Next to the living room is the dining room. There are a dining table and chairs in there. We use this room whenever we have visitors over for dinner. Beside the dining room is the kitchen. The kitchen has a stove and a refrigerator in it. There's also a kitchen table with some benches at it. Most of the time, we eat in the kitchen. Upstairs, there are three bedrooms. My parents' bedroom is very big. They have a large queen-sized bed in there, and there are two closets for their clothes. My room is smaller. My room is painted pink, and I have ruffled curtains on my windows. From my bedroom window, you can see the front yard. There's a pine tree in the front yard. My brother's bedroom is painted blue. He has blinds on the windows. He has a bunk bed in his room. If he has a friend stay over, one of them can sleep on the top bunk and the other can sleep on the bottom bunk. He can see the backyard from his bedroom window. There are rose bushes and a picnic table in the backyard. There is also a white fence that has a gate in it. In the basement, there is a recreation room. This is where we watch television and have friends over to visit. The laundry room is also in the basement. There's a washing machine and a dryer in there. Beside our house is a garage. We keep the car in the garage whenever the weather is bad. Our house is just the right size for our family. Friends are always welcome at our house. Music If you were in an orchestra, what would you play? Would you play a tuba, a trumpet, or a saxophone? Perhaps you would prefer a stringed instrument, like a violin or a cello. Maybe you would enjoy percussion more. You could play the kettle drum. There are instruments that have keyboards. A piano and an organ have keyboards. There are instruments that have strings on them. A guitar, banjo, and mandolin have strings on them. There are instruments that you blow into. A flute, a French horn, and a harmonica are all instruments that you blow into. There are instruments that you hit with a stick. A drum and a cymbal are two things that you would hit with a stick. If you are in an orchestra, you have to watch the conductor. He will lead you through the piece of music. You might just want to be in a band for fun. You could join a rock band or a dance band. 
Some people learn to read music. Music notes are written on a staff. Each note represents a sound. There are whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Each one of these is held for a different number of beats. It is good to learn about music. You have to learn your scales and learn about sharps and flats. If you want to learn how to play an instrument, it is best to take music lessons. My family. My grandparents are coming to visit us from Calgary, Alberta. My father is very happy because they are his parents, and he's glad that he will see them. My grandparents have two sons, my father and my uncle Bill. Uncle Bill is married to my aunt Susan. They have a daughter who is my cousin. My cousin is a lot older than I, so we do not have a lot in common. They also have a son who is the same age as me. He is my favorite cousin because we both like the same television shows and the same games. I have two brothers and one sister. My brothers are both younger than I. They are twins, so they have the same birthday. My sister is one year older than I. People say that my sister and I look alike. We both have blonde hair and blue eyes. My mother's parents live near us. They are my grandmother and grandfather who visit us often. My mother does not have any brothers or sisters. She is an only child. I like it when all my family is together. I don't have a lot of cousins like some people do, but I have fun with my relatives. My uncle will often take my cousin and me to the movies. I like to take my grandparents for walks so they can see my school and they can meet my friends. My parents talk to my brothers and my sister and I a lot. We are a very close knit family. People who have close families are very lucky. The museum. The museum was very interesting. There were so many things in the museum that I would need more time to really see everything. There were clothes from the past. I don't know how people wore some of those things. They look like they would be uncomfortable. I like to wear my jeans. There were things from wars. There were bullets and cannons and even uniforms from the soldiers. I don't think that war is a good thing, but it is good to remember the past and honor the people who died for your country. There was an old fire truck at the museum. This fire truck was pulled by a horse. There were some very old photographs of the firemen putting out fires. There were rooms in the museum that were set up like an old house. There were antique irons and sewing machines. The women used to clean the clothes with a washboard. There were no modern appliances back then. I'm glad that we have electricity and modern appliances. The things that we have make life so much easier. There were mummies from Egypt at the museum. I was fascinated by those. There were artifacts from the Indians. 
there were arrowheads and cradles that the babies slept in. I tried my best to see everything, but it was almost impossible. The museum is a good place to learn about your past. I tried to imagine my grandparents using some of the things that were on display at the museum. Food What kinds of food do you like to eat? I am lucky, because in Canada there are many foods to choose from. I like to eat hot dogs, hamburgers, and steak. These are all meat products. I also like cheese, ice cream, and yogurt. These are all dairy products. I like vegetables. My favorite vegetables are broccoli, cabbage, carrots, and peas. I eat a lot of fruit. I eat whatever fruit is in season. In strawberry season, I eat a lot of strawberries. In peach season, I eat many peaches. Sometimes, my mother will make a peach pie. Many different crops grow in Canada. We have many orchards and farms. Fresh fruit and vegetables are plentiful in Canada. Meat and fish are also plentiful here. In Canada, we have a lot of different foods to choose from. In my city, there are a lot of Italian restaurants. My favorite food at the Italian restaurant is pizza. My parents would rather have spaghetti or lasagna. There are Greek restaurants, Mexican restaurants, Chinese restaurants. In fact, there are restaurants from most cultures. I can go around from restaurant to restaurant and pretend that I am traveling the world and trying all the different foods from all around the world. Sometimes I eat things that aren't good for me. I eat potato chips and candies. These foods aren't part of a nutritious diet, but they are fun to eat. Transportation People move from place to place. There are lots of ways you can move around from one place to another. Sometimes you can just move your feet and walk. Walking is good for you. Some places are too far to walk to. You might have to ride a bicycle or ride on a skateboard. Some places are too far away to ride your bicycle to. You might have to drive in a car, a van, or even a truck. My father has a car. My uncle has a van. I have never been in a big truck. Trucks are usually used to carry big loads from one city to another. I would like to be a truck driver. I would travel all over and sit high up in the cab. I have been in a taxi cab. Once my mother and I took a taxi to the hospital. There was a special meter in the taxi. When we finished our taxi ride, the driver looked at the meter to find out how much money we owed him. I once rode a horse. I sat in the saddle and held on tight to the reins. The horse ran very fast. It was a bumpy ride and I was afraid that I would fall off the horse. Not too many people around here use horses for transportation. They used to use horses for transportation in the old days. If you want to travel very far away, you have to go on a train, a plane, or a boat. 
If you are in a hurry, it is best to take a plane. Planes fly through the air very fast. Trains go along the tracks. Sometimes I can hear the train whistle from my house. Boats take a long time to cross the ocean. Great big boats that cross the oceans are called ships. If you like to take it easy and look out at the water, then ships are a good way to travel. They say that the world is a lot smaller now because of transportation. People can travel to all parts of the world quickly and easily. The world is not really smaller, but it has become easy to get to far away places. Which direction? Which direction should I go in? Should I go up? If I go up, I will head toward the sky. I can go up the stairs. Should I go down? I can go down the stairs to the basement. I can climb down into a hole. Should I go left or right? I am right handed, so I know which way right is. Should I go backwards? I would be going away from the things that I am facing now if I went backwards. If I went backwards from the thing that I am facing, I would go away from it. Should I go forward? I will just go straight ahead if I go forward. If I am facing something and I go forward, then I will go toward the thing that I am facing. Maybe I should go sideways. But which side? Left? Or right. It sounds very complicated, but it is not. Directions are very easy to follow if you just stop and think about them. Months. There are 12 months in a year. January is the first month of the year. It is usually cold in January. February is the second month of the year. It is still winter when February comes. They say that March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. That means that it is still usually cold and sometimes stormy when March begins. By the time that March ends, the weather is starting to get a little better. April is the rainy month. April showers bring May flowers. Many of the spring flowers bloom in May. The weather can be quite mild in May. June is usually a nice warm month. Many people get married in June. July can be hot. People have vacations in July. It is a month to do summer things. It is still summer in August, but the summer is winding down. August is the time to have last minute vacations. In September, we go back to school. The autumn winds begin to blow. October really feels like autumn. October is Halloween time. November is when we really start to feel the chill. December is the Christmas month. Most people do a lot of Christmas shopping in December. They spend quite a bit of time getting ready for Christmas. All of the months are different. Which month were you born in? Halloween night. Halloween is fun. 
My mom buys candy. My mom buys potato chips. Mom buys chocolate bars. It is for the trick or treaters. My mom buys me a costume. It is a ghost costume. I am going to be scary. My sister is going to dress up as a princess. We'll have a wand. We'll have a crown. She will look beautiful. My dad buys a pumpkin. It is going to be a jack o' lantern. We draw a face on the pumpkin. We carved the face with a knife. Our jack o' lantern looks funny. We go trick or treating. We knock on the neighbor's door. We say, trick or treat. Our neighbors give us candy. We say thanks. We go to many houses. We go home. Our parents check our candy. It's safe. We eat lots of candy. We don't feel very good. We go to bed. Cleaning up leaves. The leaves are changing colors. I see red maple leaves. I see orange maple leaves. I see yellow maple leaves. The leaves are beautiful. It is starting to get cold. The wind is strong. Winter is coming. The leaves fall off the trees. Saturday, we will clean them up. The whole family helps. My dad gets the rake. My mom gets the garbage bags. My brother and I help too. We gather leaves with our hands. We make a big pile. My brother and I jump in the leaves. We make a big mess. Our parents don't mind. Our parents fill our coats with leaves. We look really big. Everyone laughs. Playtime is over. Back to work. Remembrance Day. My grandfather fought in World War II. My grandmother was a nurse in World War II. Today is November 11th. Today is Remembrance Day. Today we celebrate soldiers. Everyone wears a poppy. Poppies are red flowers. Poppies remind me of my grandparents. Poppies remind me of their sacrifice. At 11 a.m., there are two minutes of silence. People remember their friends and family. People recite the poem in Flanders Field. It is a sad poem. It helps us remember. Wish for peace in the world. Christmas Eve Ben and Melissa are getting ready for Christmas. Ben and Melissa's house has lots of lights on the roof. The lights are many colors. Inside, they listen to Christmas music. Ben and Melissa drink eggnog. Eggnog tastes good. Melissa hangs stockings on the fireplace. 
They string popcorn. Ben and Melissa put the popcorn string on the Christmas tree. Christmas lights on the tree. They put tinsel on the tree. Ben and Melissa put ornaments on the tree. They put a star on top of the tree. They get ready for Santa Claus. They leave milk and cookies for Santa. Ben opens one present. Melissa opens one present. They go to sleep. Ben and Melissa wake up early. They run downstairs. A lot of presents are under our tree. They wake up their mom and dad. Ben and Melissa opened their presents. They loved our presents. Everyone cleans up the wrapping paper. It is time for breakfast. Vegetables. Vegetables are very good for you. They say that you should have three servings of vegetables every day. I like green peas. Peas come in pods. I also like snow peas. You eat the pods on the snow peas. I like corn when it is on the cob. Carrots are good to eat raw. Beans are good for you. There are many different types of beans. There are string beans, kidney beans, baked beans, and lots of other beans. Some people don't like green vegetables, like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. You can make a salad and put lots of different vegetables into the salad. In my salads, I like lettuce, tomatoes, celery, cucumber, radishes, cauliflower, and spring onions. I try to have a salad with dressing on it every day. My dad likes root vegetables like beets and parsnips. My brother will only eat potatoes. He likes his potatoes baked. My mother likes to buy her vegetables at the market. She says they are fresher there. My mother buys a lot of onions. She puts onions in almost all the meals that she cooks. Some children won't eat their vegetables. I didn't like some vegetables at first, but I have become used to them. I like having vegetables with my meals. The kitchen. The kitchen is where we make and eat our meals. There is a stove in the kitchen. Inside the stove, there is an oven where you bake things. You can put a cake into the oven to bake. On top of the stove are burners. The burners get hot. You put pots or pans on the burners. The refrigerator is where we store the food that needs to be kept cold. We keep milk, eggs, cheese, and vegetables in the refrigerator. At the top of the refrigerator is the freezer. The freezer keeps things frozen. We have frozen. Vegetables, ice cream, and ice cubes are in the freezer. We have a toaster in the kitchen. You put bread in the toaster and it turns into toast. We have an electric kettle. We boil water to make tea in the kettle. There is a double sink in the kitchen. 
that is. We turn on the hot tap and put some dish detergent. Sometimes we put the dishes in the dishwasher and the dishwasher washes the dishes. There are other useful things in the kitchen. There are utensils like knives, forks, and spoons. There are tea towels and dishcloths. There are other mitts and pot holders to take hot things out of the oven. There are pots to cook and boil things in. There are pans to fry things. We have dishes that we eat from. We have plates for our dinner and bowls that we can put our soup in. We drink from cups or coffee mugs or glasses. We keep our juice in a pitcher or a jug. There is a timer that you can set when you are cooking. The timer buzzes when the food is ready. We also have a microwave oven in the kitchen. If we are in a hurry, we cook our food in the microwave. Pets There are many different animals that you can have for pets. The most common pets are cats and dogs. I think the second most common pets are birds and fish. You can hug a cat or a dog. You can play with a cat or a dog, but it is difficult to play with a bird or a fish. Some birds are very smart and they can be taught to do things. Parrots are very clever. Some of them even talk. Birds usually stay in bird cages. Fish have to stay in the water in a tank or a fishbowl. Some people have gerbils or guinea pigs as pets. There are even people who have ferrets as pets. I have a friend who has a lizard for a pet. She has to buy live crickets for her lizard to eat. Another friend of mine has a pet snake. I don't think I would like to have a pet snake. There are different types of dogs. Some dogs are very big and some are small. A Labrador Retriever is a big dog. A Poodle is usually a small dog, although there are some large Poodles. Some dogs are noisy and they bark a lot. Other dogs are quiet and obedient. I once had a dog. It was a Cocker Spaniel. I used to take it for walks. There are different types of cats, too. My favorite type of cat is the Siamese. Siamese cats have blue eyes. My mother had a Persian cat. It was very furry. My mother said that it used to shed fur all over the house. Pets are a lot of fun, but they are a lot of work, too. To be a good pet owner, you have to be very responsible. Thanksgiving We are having Thanksgiving at our house. My whole family is coming. My parents bought a turkey. It weighs 30 pounds. It takes a long time to cook. My mom wakes up early to cook the turkey. I clean the house with my dad. The house smells good. We help mom in the kitchen. 
I peel potatoes and carrots. My dad makes pumpkin pies. My mom cooks squash. I help my mom make stuffing. I mix the bread and spices. We make good stuffing. It goes inside the turkey. We put on nice clothes. I set the table. My dad carves the turkey. My mom makes the gravy. Our relatives arrive. We say thank you for all we have. We eat and eat. It is a good Thanksgiving. Fruit Some fruit grows on trees. Apples You can get red, yellow, or green apples. Some apples are green until they ripen. Then they turn red. Peaches grow on trees. Peaches have fuzzy skin. Cherries grow on trees. You can climb a ladder and pick cherries from the tree. Cherries and peaches have pits inside them. The pits are not edible. Pears also grow on trees. Lemons grow on trees. They are very sour. Have you ever picked strawberries? Strawberries do not grow on trees. You have to bend down to pick strawberries. Have you ever tried strawberry shortcake? It is very good. Grapes grow on vines. People use grapes to make wine. There are many types of berries. There are blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and cranberries, just to name a few. Some fruits are more exotic. There are mangoes and papayas, but they don't grow in Canada. Bananas and oranges don't grow in a Canadian climate either, but we are able to buy them here. Some fruits have to be peeled, and some can be eaten as they are. It is always a good idea to wash fruit before you eat it. The farmers spray the crops with pesticides to kill bugs, so it is good to wash that off. Pretending I'd like to pretend. I like to make up things that aren't real. I use my imagination. I was pretending that I was in a time machine. I set the date for a prehistoric time. I turned on the time machine and it buzzed inward and spun madly. When it stopped spinning, I opened the door and stepped out into a very thick jungle. I listened carefully to the sounds of the jungle. I could hear strange animal noises and the leaves were rustling. I wasn't sure if I'd gone back in time or just landed in a jungle somewhere in the 21st century. It didn't take me long to realize that I had indeed gone back in time. A very strange bird-like creature with a large beak flew overhead. I had never seen anything like it in my life. I took a few steps out into the long grass and ferns. I didn't want to go too far away from my time machine. I heard a noise over my right side. There was a man who looked quite different from me. 
He was dressed in an animal skin, and he carried a big stick. I didn't want him to see me, so I hid behind a tree. He didn't speak any language that I could understand. He grunted at someone who must have been in the distance. Then I felt the earth shake beneath my feet. I heard giant thumps on the ground as the floor of the jungle shook. The man in the animal skin began to run. I saw why he was running. A giant dinosaur appeared above the tops of the trees. It was bigger than anything I had ever seen. My heart began to pound in my chest. It was coming toward me. I ran toward my time machine and jumped in. I set the dial for the 21st century. The time machine whirled and buzzed. My time machine landed in the 21st century. I got away just in time. Learning how to drive. Amy is 16 years old. She lives in a small town. Amy is learning how to drive. Amy's dad is giving her lessons. Amy's dad's name is Howard. Amy has had three lessons. Amy and her dad argued during the lessons. Amy's mom is giving her driving lessons. Amy's mom's name is Jane. Jane has given Amy a lesson. Jane has decided to stop giving Amy lessons. Jane and Amy argued during the lessons too. Amy's parents call a driving school. Amy is going to get lessons from a professional. The classes cost $300 for 10 lessons. The lessons are very good. Amy learns how to drive. Amy gets her license. Colors Red is a vibrant color. Roses are sometimes red. Blood is red. White is the color of snow. Clouds are very often white. Blue is the color of the sky and the ocean. Black isn't really a color at all. Tar is black. A crow is black. Green is the color of grass. It is also the color of leaves on the trees in the summer. Brown is the color of dirt. Many people have brown hair. Yellow is a bright color. Most people use yellow when they draw a picture of the sun. Orange is an easy color to remember. That is because an orange is orange. Pink is the color that we dress baby girls in. We dress baby boys in blue. Purple is the color of some violets. The Canadian flag is red and white. What color is your flag? Traffic. Traffic moves along the streets and highways. There are rules that drivers must follow to make the traffic flow smoothly. You must wear a seat belt. The seat belt helps to keep you safe. You must stop at all the stop signs. 
you must also stop at a red light. A green light means go, and a yellow light means be careful. If you see a sign that says school crossing, you have to be careful because you are near a school and children might be crossing the street. Some places are crosswalks. Those are places where people cross the street. People who are walking have the right of way. If you hear a siren behind you, you must pull over. An emergency vehicle, like a police car or an ambulance, might need to get somewhere fast. When a school bus puts on its flashing signals, you have to stop. You can't go past the school bus because children may be crossing the street from the bus. You should always obey the speed limit. It is not good to drive too fast. People should never drink and drive. Driving is a serious business. You have to obey all the rules to be a good driver. The two sexes. There are two sexes or genders. There is the male gender and there is the female gender. Males and females are different, both physically and mentally. Humans are both male and female, and animals are both male and female. If you have a dog, it is either a girl dog or a boy dog. Boys grow up to be men. Men grow hair on their faces. Men are usually more muscular than women. Men dress differently than women. Men are males. Males are masculine. Girls grow up to be women. Only women can have babies. Women are females. Females are feminine. Another word for women is ladies. It is good that we have males and females. Your father is a male. Your grandfather, brother, and uncle are males. Your mother is a female. Your grandmother, sister, and aunt are females. Emotions Do you ever think about your emotions? What kinds of things make you sad? I get sad when I get a bad mark in school, or when someone that I like moves away. I sometimes see sad movies that make me cry. I don't like to be sad. I don't like to have a frown on my face. I'd like to be happy. I'm happy most of the time. Parties make me happy. Being with my friends makes me happy. Lots of things make me happy. If someone tells me a joke, I laugh. I enjoy laughing. Funny movies make me laugh. I think that people look the best when they smile. What kinds of things make you mad? I get mad when my brother breaks one of my toys. I try not to show it when I get mad. My parents get mad at me if I come home late. I don't think anger is a good emotion. It is best to stay calm and talk things over. Emotions come from inside you, but they show on your face. People can tell when you're mad or sad 
or happy? I prefer to look happy. Sometimes I even smile when I'm feeling sad, and the smile makes me feel a little better. Me. I am special. Nobody in the world is exactly like I am. They might have the same hair color and eyes that I do, but they are not exactly like me. I am the only person in the world who thinks my thoughts. No two people in the world are exactly alike. It is good to be your own person. It is good to be creative and natural. People have to follow the laws and the rules. People should always be kind to others. I try to follow all the rules. I am kind to others. I am a lot like many other people, yet I am different. I am like my friend Jane. But she has red hair, and I have dark hair. She has a loud voice, and I have a soft voice. She likes to eat vegetables, and I do not. Jane and I are the same height. We both like movies, and we are both afraid of spiders. We wear the same size shoes. And we both have the same favorite color. We are best friends, but sometimes we disagree about things. We are alike in many ways and different in many ways. If we were all exactly the same, the world would be a very boring place. I am myself, and I am glad that I am special. You are special too. Use your own special talents and take the time to meet other people. The world is made up of a lot of different people. That's what makes life exciting. My classroom. My classroom is a large room. It's full of brightly colored pictures. My teacher hangs pictures up all over the walls. There are blackboards at the front of the room. My teacher always has writing all over the blackboards. Sometimes the chalk squeaks when she writes on the blackboard. We cover our ears when that happens. Our class is full of desks. There are a lot of students in our class. Our desks are full of books, notebooks, and pens. I try to keep my desk neat, but I have a lot of things in there. My ruler and pencils are always falling out of my desk. At the back of the room is a bookcase. Full of books. We can sign those books out and take them home to read. I have read a lot of the books. I like mysteries and biographies, so I have taken many of those home. There are also tables at the back of the room. That's where we do our artwork. We spread out big sheets of paper and use paints or crayons to make pictures. Sometimes we cut things out of magazines with scissors and we glue pictures to the paper. I like art class. After school, my friends and I often erase the blackboards for the teacher. Then we take the erasers outside and clock them together to get the chalk dust out of them. My friends and I walk home together and talk about what we did in school and what we're going to do after supper. The police. 
My mother always told me that if I was lost, I could go up to a policeman and that he would help me find a way home. I never did get lost, but I always remembered what my mother told me about the police. I think policemen look very nice in their uniforms. I see police officers drive by in their police cars. In my town, we even have police officers on bicycles. Policemen and policewomen have a job that can sometimes be dangerous. They have to catch people who break the law. Sometimes they have to chase people or try to calm people down. To be a police officer, you need a lot of training. It's important to be able to deal with people effectively. A police officer came to our school. He had a police dog with him. The officer showed us how the dog could track down criminals. The dog was very smart. He could even find things that were hidden. Criminals sometimes hide things that they don't want the police to find. The policeman told us that he and his dog were partners. His dog lives at his house with the policeman and his family. Sometimes I see police cars on the side of the road. The police stop people who are speeding or are not wearing their seat belts. The police officers warn people or give out tickets. Sometimes they even have to arrest people. Police officers are just doing their job when they arrest people. Some people need to be arrested and put in jail to make it safer for the rest of us. Spring It rains a lot in the spring. The trees are full of buds and the flowers are starting to bloom. My favorite spring flowers are tulips and daffodils. The birds come back from the south. I can always tell that spring is here when I see my first robin of the season. The robins pull worms from the wet ground. When it isn't raining, my friends and I go outside and toss a ball around. We look forward to the summer, but we are glad to get outside after the long winter. The air smells so fresh in the spring. My mother always tells me not to track mud into the house. It's very muddy in our yard in the springtime. I wipe my muddy feet before I go into the house. There are a lot of puddles in my yard. I sometimes splash in the puddles and I get wet and cold, so I have to go into the house. I like it when the snow has melted, the rain has stopped, and the sun comes out. On sunny days, I always get together with my friends. On those days, we either ride our bikes or play ball. My parents like to go for walks on spring evenings. They also like to clean up the yard in the spring. Everyone seems to be outside. The springtime brings people out of their houses. The Zoo My class took a trip to the Toronto Zoo. I had a wonderful time there. My favorite animals were the lions. They look very powerful and strong. They say that the lion is the king of the forest, and I think that title suits him. The monkeys were funny. 
they were looking at us just as much as we were looking at them. They were swinging from branches and doing tricks to impress us. There was a baby monkey that was clinging to its mother's back. It was very cute. The tigers were pacing back and forth. They seemed restless. The stripes on a tiger are very beautiful. We watched the tall giraffes as they nibbled leaves off the tallest trees. We spoke to a colorful parrot that spoke back to us. We saw exotic animals that we had never seen before. Some of them were very strange. There were different types of bears there. There were black bears. I saw a black bear once when I was camping up north. We saw polar bears. Polar bears are white. They like the cold. We even saw panda bears. One of my friends bought a toy panda bear from the gift shop because she thought that the pandas were so cute. We saw slithery snakes. Some of the snakes had very bright skins. Most of the girls were afraid of the snakes. The zookeeper was looking after the snakes, and one of them hissed at him. He has to be very careful when he works with the snakes. The last thing that we saw at the zoo was the elephant. He was enormous. He looked at us, then he raised his trunk and made a loud sound. It made us jump. Jobs There are many different jobs that you can choose from. You can be a doctor, or a nurse. You could work in a hospital or doctor's office. You might be a firefighter and put out fires. A policeman enforces the law. An actor plays roles on stage or in the movies. You could drive a taxi or be the pilot of an airplane. What kind of things do you like to do? You might want to be a sales clerk in a store. Maybe you are good at a sport. You could be a baseball player or a hockey player. Being a dentist is a good job. A dentist fixes teeth. If you are good at arguing, you might want to be a lawyer. Do you like to fix people's hair? You could be a hairdresser or a barber. If you are good with your hands, you might want to be a carpenter or a mechanic. If you like to travel, you could be a stewardess or a travel agent. You could be a teacher or a photographer. Are you artistic or creative? You might want to be an artist or a writer. You could work on construction and build houses. You could look after animals and be a veterinarian. If you like to cook, you could be a cook or a chef. There are so many places to work and so many jobs to do. Maybe you could fix computers or work in a library. You could wash windows or be the captain of a ship. There is no limit to what you can be. Transportation Every family that I know has at least one car. Some families have two or even three cars. 
Most people get their license to drive when they are 16. In my house, we just have one car. If my father takes the car to work, my mother will take the bus. I ride in a school bus to school. My sister works in another town. She gets on the train to go to work. The train station is not far from my house. The train tracks run right by my house. My grandfather from Ireland comes to visit us. He came over by boat. He had to cross the ocean. We went to Florida last year. We flew on a plane. The plane flew right through the clouds. My friend's brother drives a motorcycle. He wears a helmet. I rode on his motorcycle once. I had to sit on the back and hold on tight. I ride my bicycle when the weather is nice. I also have a scooter that I use to travel around. I took a helicopter ride once. The helicopter's propellers were going around when I got in. I went straight up in the air. I enjoyed the ride. I would like to learn how to fly a plane or a helicopter. I like flying through the air. My body. On the top of my head, I have hair. Below my hair is my face. I have two eyes. I have eyebrows and eyelashes. Below my eyes, I have a nose. My mouth is below my nose. I have lips. If I open my lips, you will see my teeth and my tongue. Below my mouth is my chin. On the sides of my head, I have two ears. My cheeks are on either side of my nose. My neck holds up my head. My neck attaches my head to my chest. On either side of my chest are my shoulders. My arms hang down from my shoulders. I have wrists on my arms. My hands are attached to my wrists. My fingers are part of my hands. I have ten fingers and ten fingernails. My back is at the back of me. Further down, there is my waist. If I wear a belt, I put it on my waist. My hips are below my waist. My legs come down from my hips. My legs are made up of my thighs, my knees, and my calves. My knees can bend. My ankles are below my legs. My feet are attached to my ankles. My toes are part of my feet. I have ten toes and ten toenails. I am me from the top of my head to the tip of my toes. Travel It is fun to take a trip to a faraway place. My brother just went to Italy and France. He got on a plane at the Toronto airport. He took a flight to France. He stayed there for a couple of days. He visited the Eiffel Tower. He was in Paris. He said that he enjoyed the food in France. He then traveled to Italy. 
He saw many towns and villages in Italy. He went to Rome and visited many of the tourist attractions. In Venice, he saw the canals. He tried to speak Italian, but he is not too good at it. He said that the people were very helpful. They tried to understand him. He bought souvenirs for us when he was in Italy. He ate Italian food. He said that pizza in Italy is quite different from the pizza we eat here in Canada. He saw many streets that were made of cobblestones. He saw many old buildings. A lot of people in Italy travel around on scooters. He stayed at a very nice hotel in Italy. He was sorry when it was time to come home. My brother likes to travel. He likes to fly in airplanes. The airlines lost his luggage once. He was not too pleased about that. Next year, he would like to travel to England. The Shopping Mall There are many different stores in the shopping mall. There are ladies' wear stores. They sell dresses, blouses, and many kinds of clothes for women. In the men's wear stores, there are suits, ties, shirts, and slacks. There are also clothing stores that appeal just to teenagers. Some clothing stores only sell children's clothes. There is even a store that sells bathing suits and cover-ups for the beach or pool. There are lingerie stores that sell ladies' underwear and nightwear. There are hardware stores that sell tools. There are shoe stores. You buy shoes and boots in a shoe store. There are book stores. You can buy a book on almost any topic at the book store. There are stores that sell compact discs. Those stores also have tapes and videos. There are sports stores that sell special shoes and clothes for sports. They also sell sports equipment and t-shirts and hats with the logo of your favorite team. There are gift stores that sell all kinds of things that someone might want for their house. There are kitchen stores where you can buy utensils and pots and pans. Those kinds of stores also sell aprons and napkins and anything you might need for your kitchen. There is a movie theater at the mall. There is a jewelry store that has a lot of gold and silver jewelry. There is a hairdresser in the mall. Sometimes I go in there to get my hair cut. There are fast food places in the mall. You can get a quick lunch like a hamburger or some french fries. There are also fancier restaurants in the mall. You can sit down for a nice meal. There is a furniture store in the mall. You can buy a new sofa or bed at the furniture store. There are bulk food stores. At a bulk food store, all the foods are in bins. You take as much as you want and pay for it at the counter. There is even a telephone store and an electronics store at the mall. My brother's favorite store is the toy store. He could spend hours in there. There are also department stores at the mall. Department stores sell all kinds of things. They sell perfume, clothes, shoes, 
kitchen utensils, or just about anything you might need. You can get almost anything you want at the shopping mall. Clothing I changed my clothes a lot. If I am going somewhere fancy, I wear a dress. I wear stockings on my legs and I wear a pair of nice shoes. If I am going to play sports, I wear a sweatshirt and jeans. If I am going to the beach, I wear a bathing suit or a bikini. My brother wears swimming trunks to the beach. At work, I wear a skirt and a blouse. Underneath my clothes, I wear underwear. A lady wears a bra and panties as underwear. A man wears boxers or jockey shorts as underwear. Today, I am wearing a blouse and a pair of jeans over my underwear. I have socks and shoes on my feet. In the summer, I often wear sandals on my feet. In the summer, the tops that I wear are usually sleeveless. I usually wear shorts in the summer. Sometimes I wear a sweater or a jacket if the weather is cool. I wear a cap or a hat on my head. I wear a belt to hold up my jeans or my slacks. Women sometimes wear a dress or a skirt. Men wear a pair of slacks and a shirt. Some men wear a suit and a shirt and a tie. If it is very cold outside, I wear a winter coat. If it is cold, I like to wear gloves or mittens on my hands. Sometimes I wrap a scarf around my neck to keep warm. I wear a toque on my head in the cold weather. I wear boots on my feet in the winter. If it is raining, I wear a raincoat. The way that I dress depends a lot on the weather. Movies I go to the movies almost every week. Sometimes I rent movies from the video store. My favorite films are action films. I like to watch car chases. I like it when the bad guy has a shootout with the good guys. I like the good guys to win. I also like science fiction movies. I like things that take place in the future. I like movies that have aliens from different planets in them. Some of the science fiction movies can be silly and unbelievable. I don't like those ones. My mother likes dramas. She has a lot of favorite actors and actresses. She sometimes watches sad movies that make her cry. She also likes comedies. She laughs out loud if a comedy is very funny. My father likes horror movies. He likes movies with monsters in them. He also likes thrillers. I have watched some thrillers that keep you tense and on the edge of your seat. Sometimes I have to shut my eyes if the movie gets too scary. My brother likes animated films. In animated films, there are no actors, just cartoon characters. My brother goes to the movies on Saturday afternoons with his friends. He goes to the matinee. He gets popcorn, candy, and pop.
He usually comes back with a stomach ache because he eats so much. Sometimes my father watches documentaries. Documentaries are about real things. You can learn a lot from watching a documentary. I watch documentaries with him sometimes, but I would rather see a good action film. Flowers There are hundreds of different types of flowers. Most people like roses. Roses grow on bushes and may smell beautiful. You have to be careful that you don't prick your finger on a rose thorn. Roses come in many colors. There are red, pink, yellow, and white roses. In the spring, tulips are in bloom. In Ottawa, there are many tulips. Some people go there just to see all the tulips in the spring. Forget-me-nots are also spring flowers. They are tiny and blue. Lilies of the valley look like white bells. Many of the trees have blossoms on them in the springtime. The apple and cherry trees look particularly beautiful when they are in blossom. We have a blossom festival in my town. My neighbors like to plant geraniums, petunias, and marigolds in the summer. Some people plant sunflowers. Sunflowers grow very tall. They are bright yellow petals. All of those flowers grow best in the sunshine. If your garden is shady, you have to plant different things. Hostas grow well in a shady garden. Chrysanthemums are fall flowers. Chrysanthemums come in many colors also. There are purple, yellow, and white chrysanthemums. Flowers are good to give as gifts. Women like to receive a dozen roses on Valentine's Day. Carnations also make a nice gift. They have a very sweet smell. Many people give away lilies for Easter. Poinsettias are very festive at Christmas time. If someone goes to a dance, they often give their partner a flower to wear. If you go to a wedding, you will probably see a lot of flowers there. Flowers help to make places beautiful.